Look at that fish, guys. I didn't actually catch it on the underspin itself, but the blade, absolute freak. That's another, probably close to four. My goodness, guys, this thing is a freak. This is an absolute giant. Look at that fish, guys. That is an absolute monster. Look how long that fish is. And that's why I see, so I'm using an underspin here. Hopefully you guys can see that. And look what I caught it on. I didn't actually catch it on the underspin itself, but the blade, and I put that stinger hook on there. If you guys haven't watched my video of that, I'll post that up above here. But look at the size of this fish. Absolute freak. I don't know how big that is. Let's weigh it. But that's why you use that stinger hook because a lot of times they'll eat that blade. So go ahead and watch that video and I explain exactly how I do that. You can rig it my way. Oh yeah, guys, almost a five. 485, phenomenal fish. Would love to have him in a tournament. That's for sure. Let's let her go. There she goes, no problems. Again, what I was talking about, here's my little underspin. And most underspins, or actually every underspin I've ever seen, has a blade on the bottom, but it does not come with a hook. And so what I do is I add that little stinger hook there, and I'm telling you guys, if you guys do that, that's a little secret for you guys, a little pros tip that 100% works for me but you will catch so many more fish on that stinger hook on the blade. It'll shock you guys. So go try that out. Check out that video and try it out. There's a good one right there. These fish are staging on brush piles. And uh, again, as I mentioned earlier, I, I really did not think they would be up here yet. I mean, obviously that's the direction they're going, but every day I've been out here, I've been out here the last couple days and there have been more and more fish on each brush pile. So, we're moving that direction. Let's see if we can't get another one here. I'm gonna have to go check a lot of stuff. We've got a tournament, just a local little, you know, club deal, 10, 12 boats. And I'm gonna have to go look at some different things than what I've been normally fishing. So I think the winter pattern is gonna work more in the morning. And then they're gonna transition, I mean, potentially on how warm it gets next weekend, but transition up to some some classic pre-spawn stuff so that's pretty neat it's gonna be fun changing up the the presentations and the techniques for you guys maybe you'll see some new baits
Just missed another one there. I don't know if you guys watched my uh, Lake Hartwell Fisher of Men tournament practice and all that other stuff, but in one of those videos, I was complaining about using a weed guard for your Nico hooks. And this is my opinion, but this is what works for me. Go ahead and get a hook without a weed guard. Most of the time, just aim around. If you are fishing around cover, try to aim for the edges of it. Maybe not the heart of it, but your hookup ratio and land to rent to land ratio will go up exponentially. I mean, it's stupid. As you guys can see here, I'm trying to burn through some of these hooks with weed guards. I could cut them off and I probably should, but again, I just missed a fish there. They do not hook up as well. So when I cut that weed guard off, I mean, I, I probably land 99 out of 100 fish and hook 99 out of 100 fish. With this, golly guys, it seems like I miss or some get off more than I catch. So just a little tip right there. But just as I was complaining at Lake Hartwell, I'm doing the same thing here at Lanier. So you gotta cut your weed guards off. All right, guys, I think I got them dialed. It's another good one here. And there was one that was even bigger that was with it. Look at that one. That's another, probably close to four. Look at this, barely hooked. That dumb weed guard. I should just cut it off now. Look at that, it fell right out. Weed guards are stupid, guys. If you're not fishing, you know, heavy cover, stuff like that. So just cut them off. They're not worth it. Look at that one. Probably, that's probably three and a half, three and three quarter. And you know what we're gonna do right now? We're gonna cut off this dumb weed guard. Instead of just complaining about it, let's do something about it. And just like that, no weed guard. I knew there was one down there. He bit it the first time and I missed him. So I threw back in there. And what do you know, got a little dink. There's our kicker.